So this stop on the factuality tour, we know where coal comes from and we know how they use it at a utility. We want to find out more about how it's transported from one place to the other. We're here in Omaha, Nebraska, the home of Union Pacific Railroad, which was actually founded and thought of by Abraham Lincoln to start the Transcontinental Railroad right here in Omaha. So we're going to find out how technology has made the transportation of coal on railroads more efficient over the years. This is the uh, Harriman Dispatching Center and we dispatch uh, basically our entire train operation from this location. It looks like we're in the set of a James Bond movie here where they kind of control everything and not exactly what we expected to see uh, when we thought about railroad technology. Explain to us what's going on out here. There's a technology as far as I can see here in the Harriman Center and I don't even know where to begin to look first. The technology, as you can see on our dispatcher's workstations, uh, they have an, uh, a graphical uh, uh, overview of their territory showing them all train and engine movements. They authorize those train and engine movements in that territory. And they're not doing that by Morse code. They're not sitting there tapping something out. I mean, technology and the railroad have really come a long way. I mean, well, as evidenced out so. here. I very mean, much so. And we're in Omaha. So what happens when the bad weather comes through and the power goes out? Does the place go dark? People just kind of go home for the day and say maybe we'll try it again in the morning when the power comes on like they would do in other parts of the country? Uh, no, no way. Uh, we've got uh, uh, continuous uninterrupted power. We've got uh, two uh, backup generators. Uh, we also have redundant power sources from two different utilities. Well, the Harriman Center here opened in 89. How many days off, how many times have it been closed in, since 1989 when you guys opened the doors here? I'm not aware of a single closure day. Never once have the doors been shut and people haven't come in to work. Not to my knowledge. Amazing. And how many people are here? We, right around 800. 800. And, and you had said earlier that they work around the clock 24 hours a day. So if we came in here at 4 in the morning, what's it going to look like? Look the same. It would look the same? Look the same. Very much so. So the trains don't stop moving and the people at the Harriman Center don't stop moving them around regardless of weather, time, anything. That's correct. Amazing.